uh, just finished the first procedure of the day, which was a venous stenosis. Dropped a stent in that bad boy and got out of there. Now we are about to start case number two. We have an add-on case after that, and let's go ahead and get started on this one. All right, and similar to my last video or two videos ago, it is now my turn to sell my car, which is good because I was worried about not being able to sell it. I surprisingly actually had a good number of offers for it. Some of them were kind of low, some of them were decent, but then I ended up selling it to the people, the only people who came and saw it yesterday, this past weekend. And I gave them kind of a good price on it because it was a family and the young girl's in high school and she really wanted a Jeep. And I really love Jeeps. I've only ever driven Jeeps my entire life. And she was like super happy to have it, but it was a little out of her price range. So I knocked it down just a tad so that she could be able to pay it off and afford it. So I could have gotten more money for it, but it's also, you know, you like to do a good thing every now and then. I remember being in high school once and I would have loved to drive this Jeep when I was in high school. So maybe she'll enjoy it just as much as I would have. But right now I am waiting at the bank for the final check and all the cash and all that stuff. So that is what I'm doing right now. And also I only have a few more days of residency left. I feel like I'm dragging that on, but whatever. And it is Tuesday morning and I took a very cold, 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 cold Uber ride here, as you can probably tell by my video. Wasn't too happy. The weather here is so bad. And when I say bad, it's like 50 degrees. It's raining literally all week. So my last four or five days of residency are in the cold and wet environment of North Carolina, which is not that good because all of my warm clothes are in New York. And I only have like a few pair of scrubs here and like a couple t-shirts. So there's that. Anyways, it is currently Tuesday. Um, I got here a little early because, you know, there's no Ubers around like 5.30 in the morning, especially during COVID time. So I have to kind of get them as early as possible so that I get to the hospital on time for my procedures. But I have a couple of cases scheduled for today. I think I have a Venus lower extremity case, followed by a fistula study, followed by a lower extremity angiogram and possible intervention there. So that's what I'm doing today. And counting down the days, let's see, today, tomorrow, Thursday, I'll be officially done, headed to New York. So let's see how today goes. And good morning. It is officially Wednesday morning and yes, I'm waiting on another Uber, or I should say ride share, because it's actually a Lyft. So I can't include all of them together. Anyways, um, it's Wednesday, I'm going to the hospital today. I only have one procedure this morning, I think, and it should be pretty quick. And that's pretty much it for the entire day. So I have to get a whole bunch of work done. And then I have a haircut at 4 p.m. because I'm getting one last haircut before I go to New York, because I don't know what the haircut situation is in New York or if I'm gonna be able to get a haircut for the next three weeks or a month or whatnot. So I just got one two weeks ago and I'm getting another one just in case, basically. So um, I think I have like a thoracic outlet syndrome case today or something, um, but we'll find out more once I get to the hospital. And just like that, I completed my very last case of my entire residency career. Well, almost, I still have fellowship. But last case at my hospital for residency, it's a pretty solid case. We did an upper extremity thrombectomy and lysis, which I've never done before for something called Paget Schroeder's disease. If I can find an image of Paget Schroeder's disease, I'll put it up here. Basically, you just remove the clot from the upper extremity. Um, and yeah, it was a lot of fun. First time I've ever done that procedure, I did it with a fellow Big Ryan, Vassar Surgery Fellow. Love hanging out with him this whole month and getting to know all the things Vassar Surgery because I like seeing how they do things. It's a little different than how we do things. And they do some endovascular procedures that we don't do. So it's good to kind of see 
both ends of the spectrum. I have one more day of clinic tomorrow, and then I'm officially done with residency. But no more procedures left. I'm gonna hang out here. I'm going to update my resume, do some odds and ends for my fellowship um, work. Then I'm gonna get my hair cut, which is always exciting. And then I'm gonna go home, probably pack up a little more, and come here tomorrow for my last day for clinic. But first, since I don't have a car, gotta take an Uber home. The best thing about finishing residency is I can get rid of these nasty procedure shoes. Oops, if I can get them. And just like that, we are at the airport. It's been quite a whirlwind week. Um, I was trying to vlog the whole thing, but it ended up being just too stressful because I was trying to take care of my apartment and also try to say bye to everybody who I probably won't see for a very long time, or some of them may not see ever again. It's kind of sad, it's kind of bittersweet at the same time, but we're back to the airport get ready to take a one-way flight to New York City. All right, so got my coffee here. Finally, I'm back to real life again. Uh, I finally got rid of the air mattress that I've been sleeping on for the past five, six nights. It's been terrible. I've gotten literally terrible sleep every single night for the past six days, but I'm so excited to go back to New York. I feel like this is a long time coming and I've known about it for a year and we finally get to go now. So I'm super, super, super excited, even though I'm pretty exhausted right now. So yeah, it was just kind of bittersweet yesterday. I mean, it's the last time I'm going to be in that hospital. I worked there for four years. I pretty much learned every single thing I know in that hospital. I've had unbelievable mentors, Dr. Dixon, Dr. Bream, Dr. Burke, Dr. Morrow, Dr. Yu, Dr. Kim, Dr. Stewart, Dr. Isaacson. I mean, everybody has taught me every single thing I know in IR over the last four years. And yeah, I just it's like bittersweet. It's all the only way I can describe it. It's sad to leave, but it's also exciting at the same time because I'm kind of starting this new chapter in my life. But yeah, it's just bittersweet. It's the only way I can describe it. I wish I could have gotten to spend a little more time with some of my mentors and my co-residents and co-fellows, but unfortunately the COVID times, you can't really do that. So usually we would have diagnostic radiology graduation, interventional radiology graduation, and then also like go out for drinks and stuff afterwards. But none of that can happen. So we never got to kind of say our final goodbyes, but hopefully, you know, people will come visit New York and I will get to hang out with them there. So yeah, I can't really describe it. It's just, I feel like this four years just kind of flew by, which like what even happened over the last four years? Somehow, I feel like I just moved down to North Carolina from New York, and then I thought it was gonna be like this forever journey in residency, and then I'm literally done right now. It's, it's crazy, that's the only way I can describe it, it's just crazy, and anticlimactic. So I just wanted to say thank you to all my mentors. Thank you for teaching me everything. Thank you for devoting time to teach me the craft of interventional radiology and all of my diagnostic radiology attendings as well. Thank you so much. So many of you guys helped me out in the last four years and made me who I am today. So I guess officially I'm considered a radiologist now, which is weird. I could technically just stop and not do a fellowship and just practice right now, but, but I'm doing IR fellowship, obviously, but it's weird. I'm a radiologist now and hopefully an interventional radiologist in one year's time. All right, enough of this sappy stuff. It's time to go to New York City. himself has arrived. 
and that officially concludes this video. We are on my new rooftop in New York City. So as always, make sure you smash that like, subscribe button, follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Otherwise, I'll see you all on the next video.